Hello, second grade. How are you? Mr. Joel Puzzle back here in his art basement again to do one more drawing with you. Hopefully, the next time you see me will be in September in the art room when you are shiny new third graders in Mrs. Mitchell's class and Mrs. Cowell's class, and we'll get together in the art room, which is where we want to be. So we'll do one more drawing together. You know, I, I get requests all the time, Mr. Pazza, how do you draw a flower? How do you draw a rose? How do you draw a flower? So I figured, you know what? Let's do a flower together. And I know what you're thinking, boys. Mr. Pazza, come on. I want to do a monster truck. I want to do two guys sword fighting. Um, listen, the next time you're looking for something to draw on mom's Mother's Day card or her birthday card or holiday card, or for grandma, or your aunt, or your sister, you wanna put a nice flower on it, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? And I actually, I've never drawn it before. I just found this kind of little thing online, how to do it. So I thought it was pretty simple, something definitely a second grader could do, no doubt about it. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this. You're gonna need a piece of paper, you're gonna need a pencil, and an eraser. You're gonna to wanna to turn that paper vertical, up and down, because our rose is taller than it is wide. Okay. Um, we're gonna start at the top and kinda of work our way down. So, you can get pr pretty close to the top if you want. You can get pretty close. Because the very first shape we're going to draw isn't the tippy top of your drawing, but it's close. Now, the bigger you make this shape, the bigger your flower is going to be. If you make it really wide, you're going to have a wide flower. If you make it small, you're going to have a little tiny, skin, a little tiny flower. So we're, going to, we're starting kind of on the inside of the flower. So what I'm gonna to do toward the top of my paper is centered left to right, pretty much, because our flower is kind of symmetric, symmetrical except for a leaf at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an oval. Okay. We draw a big oval. You can actually make it wider than that if you want. I could have made mine wider. Okay, nice big oval. Now, inside that oval, where we're drawing a rose that's sort of like half opening up. If you've ever seen a rose that's just starting to open up, all those petals are kind of stacked around each other and they make kind of like this spiral shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right at the bottom of my oval in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to copy the shape of this oval and I'm gonna spiral around until I get to the middle, okay? So what I did was I just went around and then I got smaller and smaller and then I just kind of stopped right in the middle. <coughs> and you can spiral it right around until you run out of room. So you're kind of going like around and then inside and then inside and inside, kind of like that. So I just started at the bottom and I spiraled around and around until I just ran out of room. I didn't go outside the oval. Everything's inside our first shape that we made. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start right up here right at the top. I just started at the bottom of my oval, now I'm going to start at the top. So think of this next part as a heart. We're going to draw a heart around our spiral. Okay? So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go up, around. Okay? Up, around. So just think of it as a heart. Up, around, 
and then finish in the middle, up, around. So it's a heart around our spiral, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to come over to the left side of my heart. And I'm going to follow this line down. And I'm going to continue that line. Okay? Again, I'm following this around, and I'm just continuing the end of my heart on the left side only. And I'm going to kind of curve down, you know, a little bit down into the middle of my vapor. Now, I'm gonna come over to the side of my heart on the left side, right here. You can even be a little bit higher than the side. So that, that's the furthest point out. You can even move a teeny bit up if you want. But watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna touch my heart. I'm gonna come out a little bit. And then I'm going to follow this shape down. And I'm going to come down to a point right at the bottom. So it's going to start to get thinner toward the bottom. Okay? So I started with a point up here. I finished with a point. And the rest of it, I'm kind of curving around. I'm following the curve of the heart. And I'm just mimicking that. Point at the top. Point at the bottom. A little thicker in the middle, just like that. As always, pause it, stop it whenever you need to. If I'm going too fast, you guys already know that, but I'll say it anyway. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, except it's not going to come to a point down here. So I'll start right about there on this side. I'm going to do the same thing I did on that side. I'm going to start with a point, get a little wider. Except this time, I'm just going to run right into that line and just stop. So this line's a little bit shorter than the first one. So I have a nice thick edge on this side, nice thick edge on that side. This side comes down to a point. That side goes behind it. So we have to stop there. Okay? Before we work our way down, I want to come up here. Because right now, remember the spiral we did at the beginning? We made an oval, and then we put a spiral in it. Right now, that thing is sort of just floating there, and it kind of looks weird. So what I need to do is I need to connect this spiral with the two shapes that we just made. So whoops, I'm going to come over here to the edge of my oval. This is the very first shape that we drew, the edge of my oval. And I'm going to come over on the edge of my oval, and I'm going to make a little line that curves in a little bit and touches this shape. So that line right there, I know it's getting a little confusing. There's the oval, gonna go from there to this line. And that's the line I just made. All I did was this. I just made a little curved line like that. Okay? Now I'm gonna come over to this side of my oval. There's my oval right there, not my spiral. It's my oval. And on the edge of my oval, I'm gonna draw a line that curves in a little bit and comes out and touches that line. So now you can see this part of the rose is coming out. So now that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Two very short little lines, but two very important little lines. Okay. Now the next part we're gonna make, you're gonna wanna draw this lightly, because it's a big shape. Maybe we'll even break it down into two, to two lines, but they're big ones, they're long. So now we're going to do that whole bottom of the flower, right? So just the way I just made those curved little lines there and there, I'm going to sort of do the same thing out here. So I'll, now we're going to go out to the furthest point on our flower, right here. And I want you to find the widest point, which is about where my finger is. I'm just going to put a little line right there. Then I'm going to come around to this side. I'm going to find the widest point, which is right about where my finger is. I'm going to put a line right there. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to curve in a little bit first. Then we're going to go out a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Okay? So 
watch this. I'm going to curve in a little and then out. Maybe I'll stop there for now. I'm going to come over here, curve in a little and then out. You can see they, they go in just a little bit and they come out just a little bit. Nothing major. We're not going to go crazy. Now what I want to do is I want to continue these and I want them at some point touch, touch each other, okay? So it's in a little, out a little, and then just super on them. Now, this one right here, remember this shape that we, we came down to a point? I want to continue with that line right there. So follow this bottom line here, around and down. And I want you to continue it. And right before you get to the bottom, we're going to swoop over and have it just very smoothly flow into. We don't want to just go straight down. Right, we want to make it look like a petal that's opening. So if we're going to this point right here. We're going to continue down in a curve and then swoop over and just continue like it's almost connecting to this line over here. It's a nice gradual or slow transition. It's not just straight down into the bottom of the flower. That makes a lot more sense now. Okay? Now, at the bottom of a rose, we're going to have little tiny leaves. They're kind of like little pointy leaves that come out at the bottom. And these little things that we're going to make now, when the rose is closed, before it even buds at all, those, they're closed like this. And then they open and spread and completely flatten out, and then the rose grows. So what I'm going to do is right on the bottom up here, I'm just going to do some pointy little, some pointy little leaves. So there's a little leaf there. I'm going to do one on this side, right there, right, and then I'll do another one that kind of comes out to a point right there. So the trick is, when you're making these, they're wide at the beginning, where they connect. They're wide at the beginning, and they come to a point. I just put a couple little extra curves on them. You can do that if you want. They're just wide little curves. Actually, I don't want those wide. I get rid of those wide. So I've got four little pointy ones. You can do more than four. You can even have some smaller ones. Peek it out if you want. Whatever. And now our stem. I don't have a lot of room for my stem, so you can make your stem as long as your paper is. I don't have too much room for that. So what I'm going to do is my stem's going to start out a little bit wider at the top. Right, and then it will get a little thinner, and then it will just it gets it gets thinner at the beginning, and then it just goes straight down. Okay. And if you'd like to make a leaf coming out the side, right, it's very very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out like that. I'm going to come back so it's really really thin. Touches the stem, pointy at the end, and then I'm going to move up a little bit from that line, maybe like right there, and I'm just going to draw a leaf around it. See that? First I did the middle, and then I just did the leaf, small, wide, small, kind of like a football. And if you, you could put one on the other side, whatever you want to do. Bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. And if you'd like, roses have little thorns. You could do some thorns if you want. And voila. And if you'd like to color it in, of course, you can Google rose. There's lots of different color roses. 
red roses, of course, there's yellow roses, there's pink roses, or white roses. So you can color that in if you want. And make sure, make sure you send them to me, mdelpazo at germantowncsd.org. Make sure you send me your pictures, your final picture. And I will be happy to send you some comments and feedback uh, back to you in a, in a nice little email. But remember, boys, I want you to draw the rose because one day you're going to need to draw a flower. And you go, I wish I drew that picture Mr. Del Pazzo told me to. He was right again. So thank you so much, second graders. And I can't wait to see you, hopefully, in September in the art room when you are third graders. Okay? So I had a lot of fun doing these pictures with you. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you.